Hi everybody. In this question, what I'm being asked to do is to take this final logarithm and rewrite it given these restrictions here. Okay. Now, what I see in this is again a request to really simplify this down as much as I can, but mostly by, by sorry, simplifying it down, maybe the wrong expression here, but to, to really expand this out as much as I can. I know that 48, oops, sorry, this is the log base B of 48, sorry, I was 48 is going to be the log base B of, okay, well 48, okay, uh, looking at the, the logarithms that they're giving me here, I want this in terms of 3 and 2. Okay, 3 and 2. Well, 48 is, let's say, 8 times, okay, 48 is actually, I was going to say 8 times 6, but it's actually 3 times 16. 3 times 16. And the reason I choose that is because 16 is 2 to the 4th. So now what I can do is I can, I can take that 48, plug it in uh, there in this form, 3 times 2 to the, to the 4 here, use my log laws to make this the log base B of 3 plus the log base B of 2 to the 4. Now, I'd be, it's very tempting at this point to make an incorrect substitution. Now, log base B of 3 is X. This is X. But this is not, okay, Y to the fourth. Okay, it's not Y to the fourth. Log base B of 2 is Y. But remember, you have to do what's inside the brackets first. And when there's a logarithm here, there's an implied set of brackets. This is log base B of 2 to the fourth, not 2 log base b of 2 to the 4th. So I can't, it's, it's the 2 going to the 4th, not the whole thing. So I can't simply make a substitution and make this y to the 4th. I got to deal with that exponent first. So this becomes the log base b of 3 plus 4 times the log base b of 2. And now I can make this substitution. Log base b of 3 is x plus 4, and then the log base b of 2 is y. So x plus 4y.